At the time and space for you, get out my galaxy, finally I'm done with needing you, you're blinding me So I'm done with seeing you, I'm just trying to get known with the media Get to know the real and the fake me, Wikipedia it's Hey yo, so I've been waiting to react to this for a good minute now Growing up, I did listen to a lot of Trey songs Now, I'm in my early 20s And you know, starting to get interested in, in females and stuff when I was younger. It's like, man, how could you not listen to Trey songs? This nigga is the blueprint, my nigga. So I listened to him a lot when I was even a little bit younger than I am now. High school, probably middle school. I think it all started with Can't Help But Wait. I can't remember any time before that though, because obviously Can't Help But Wait really put him on the map that I know of from my memory. Um, and since then, I, I, I've just kind of been on board. This project right here, it, like, it, it has two parts. It's called 11. This one is called 11. But then there's another one that's called 28. Now, I don't know exactly when it dropped. Maybe it dropped 11, 28. I kind of assume that. I don't remember exactly when it dropped. But it might have dropped 11, 28. But if that's the case, maybe that's the significance of it. Um, but if I'm wrong, somebody just correct me. I, I could just easily be wrong about that and tell me what's the meaning behind 1128. When it comes to Trey songs, yeah, I, I li listen to a lot of Trey songs, a lot of singing Trey songs, especially late teens. So, we're going to get into this reaction. This one is, is called 11, as I said, and what's the cover? It's just like a little heart, a little heart with two ones on it, a little gray, dark grayish heart with two ones on it. Um, something simple. I feel like a lot of this is going to be about sex. Um, so, viewers, we know what we're getting into. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, hold on, before I get into it, I don't know if he added it to the 28 part of the project, um, or that second project, but if you guys haven't heard Jill, Boy, he he made a he made a pretty decent song out of that Jill Scott video of her at the mic doing all that shit, giving a ghost head like my nigga. Pretty decent. I thought, nice little opening uh, track. I, I liked it. Lay your head down. I kind of accidentally started the wrong track. I started the second track ahead of the first track, the intro track. But fuck it, we don't go back to the order. It's supposed to be in on number track number three, which is solid. So we'll go back to the regular order. That was my fault. But about that track, drugs. I forgot the fact that it's called drugs. Um, but. Cause just listening to the song, I, I I get like a different vibe. I mean, maybe you was on drugs, you fucking love the song. It's a good song too, but I don't feel a drugs vibe from the song at the same time. Not me, at least. Um, or or, or I don't I have I didn't detect a hidden message of we're on some drugs. Let's do it right tonight. Let's have fun. Um, I didn't get that really. I heard I got that tonight. I need your body just straight you know sex with Trey Songs vibe um and the premise of this uh song drugs I kind of get from I feel like this could have easily been put on anticipation anticipation three um you know he got you know I got the time for you tonight and he got all those tracks related to time 
Um, that could have easily been put on Anticipation 3, which I think if you swap out a couple of tracks, it would have actually made it sound better with the actual concept of Anticipation 3. Um, so, but I think it's, it's a good track on this project as well. It's definitely good for an opening track. I like it. Okay. Come on and fuck. I know you heard it all before. It's my you can't be sure. I know. I know. They like. What you doing? We I come change the outcome. I don't make no assumptions. Show me something. I like that one. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I think uh as far as an order go as far as an order go, I like solid then drugs, then lay your head. I like that track. I think once again for Trey Songs, he's back and proving himself as one of the best singers in the game and R and B. Um I can't really name many R and B singers out right now that I'm just like really a big fan of. That song right there just like just proves and shows you that he's back with some with some great singing, great vocals and he letting letting the world know he's not in you he haven't gone anywhere. Yeah. Did y'all catch that? He throwing some bars in there, some sneak bars, but he threw some bars in there. I'm not gonna repeat it. But y'all, if y'all caught that, that was nice. It's a long course. We ain't got nothing but time. I got the time. Say the word and I'll be on it. I got the time. So far, I am not disappointed. Trey Song, he's brought he's brought out all the vocals on this. Um, he like, and I think as far as harmonies go, Trey Songs is one of the best out there. And it just sounds so well put together. It sounds really good sonically. I feel like if I had this in ear, if I was just listening to it with my headphones, it would sound even better. And um, he tried to he every a lot of his songs he just go for a vibe, a, a nice calming, soothing vibe, and with so many different sounds it's i mean it's really hard to explain but at the same time he's he's just really a mix of good feel good sounds and when he adds in his voice and just playing around with his voice whether he's ad-libbing um that whatever he okay one of the ad-libs i wasn't really feeling that blah, 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 oh he was rolling his tongue or some shit um but he puts so many sounds into his music, um, but cohesively is really well done and put together. And the way he just sings it and expresses it, because um, there's not many, like I said, there's not many R&B artists out there who are who ex who sings as well or even expresses in their voice in so many different ways. It could be the first chorus he's saying one word, but then the second chorus he's saying that same word but in a de different but more fun way of saying it and it's just he, he he switches up and twists it up and i really like that Um, 
Yeah, it was it, it was just okay. I can't give it too much, honestly. And uh, with Teddy Riley, um, I wasn't sure about his track or where it was going to take me. But in the end, you know, it was fine. It was fine uh, about his verse, I mean. And um, I looked him up a little bit. He's been out for a while, but he's not really big. He just kind of now getting his exposure. That's definitely another favorite. I didn't think I was going to actually really be into that track. I started off um, very reminiscent of Doorbells on Passion, Pain, and Pleasure. It really had me, just the the tempo of the track, then the douche, douche, douche. That really made me remind me of uh, Doorbells. Um, but it wasn't really, he wasn't pushing his vocals in it. He, it was just more of a, this Trey song's the vibe that you've been getting out throughout this project so far and i like it it was it was kind of hypnotic very hypnotic um because when i think of the the tempo it makes me think of just a a clock not not maybe clock but also just a stopwatch just going side to side to side to side and it's very hypnotic and i'm just kind of just moving along with it and listening to it and like I say, he, he throws different good sounds at you. If you ever took that opportunity to break your trust, I ain't on So why do we make it hella complicated? Like a nigga guilty, all these accusations growing on flagrant. I think it was a uh, de decent track. It's, it doesn't hurt the project. I think that you really have to be in a certain um, mindset or a certain mood to actually really listen to this type of track. Because um, really, I can't say this project has been taking you through the motions. It's really been all sex with some minor other, you know, minimal categories within it. But the, mo the main thing is really sex. Um, so to throw this in, it's like um, I haven't been going up and down. It's just been all straight down. Like, oh, where did this come from? We're going down now. Not saying that the project takes takes a dip at this point, but it's just kind of astray from what was consistent to me. Um, it's a decent track. You have to be in the mood for it, though. I'm so sure, baby. Talking about you got a man, so you ain't got the time to play games. I gotta be the side piece, side piece. Go back home and say his name, baby. Girl, I know you want to, cause I know your man don't do it right. So let me know, 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 no, no. We don't love you right, no, we don't touch you right. Just trying to come shed a little light Tell me that you like to uh, If that's the case, then you can stay just for the night Hold you tight, lie you down Cause I know you man don't do it mm. Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. It's a yes or no, it's a go Let me know, let me know, no, no, no. Just let me know Just let me know. Girl, 
loving all you want to Won't you come inside the room Now you hide this Tell me that you lie to Stages for the night you tight, are you down? Cause I know you men don't do it right Let me know That right there was the best track on this whole project so far it's, and it's been some really good tracks but that was the best track let me know you want to know why because like I said you have to be in a mood for it you know I wasn't really in a mood for who let you down but I know that was a good track but I'm in the mood for let me know because it is relatable that's very definitely relatable for me I can say that so it's like then a little bit halfway past halfway through the track he he has this bridge in there that's like the bridge part of it is just so well done and pleasing and it's like really nice and man I, I guys what you got what you guys think so far what's the best I know we only eight tracks in nine tracks in now but what's the best track on this project because to me let me know was the best track has been the best track so far now we got two more tracks to go through my opinion might change i don't know um I, I feel like i'm not surprised at how much i actually like this project and i'm definitely going to be banging this project depending on the moments and i like it man i don't i don't know let's go you want it. i know just how you act when you want it oh. i'ma let you go I think that was a um that was a decent track, like I said. Uh, one of them tracks that don't hurt the project at all. Uh, I feel like I wish it was a little bit longer. And I feel like it was some minor tweaks on it that might have uh, brought more his more natural voice instead of it. Sound, to me, seemed a little. some parts seemed a little bit too modified. Um, or some points at which I was like thinking to myself, oh, if it was just him just naturally expressing it all within his natural voice it would have been sounded better my dollar sign has some of the best features i hear i don't even really listen to him but every time i hear some of his features on he kills it he do he does it just as good if not better than the actual uh artist that who who has the song end of the project right there 10 tracks 38 minutes i like it uh, i'm actually really looking forward to the second part not the second part but the second project um 28 project 11 was really done well i really like that um i feel like obviously we got a lot of sex with trey songs music so um but then i got pretty relatable very relatable one called let me know which is track number eight and i really like that one i'm hoping that this next project for 28 we do get more of tracks that's not centered around sex like let me know or who or who who let you down you know i want to i want to feel that up and down i don't want to feel that straight across um and 
I mean, I, I want to feel it from this. I want to feel that straight, keep it going with this. But I feel like with 28, I want it to be up and down. I want it to touch on different topics and different things. Um, that's what I want out of 28. 11, it was well done. It was a really good project. I really liked it. Um, some very good R&B music. On to this next project. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. So, yo, remember to comment, like, share, subscribe, and peace.